Hello. This is Alf from Alf's Aussie Adventures here. I'm here with a, uh, a mate of mine, Albert Abdul Rahman, and he's uh, very sick. He's a terminal man. Yes. Uh, I think he's only got a few months to live, yeah. and he's got this pet rooster. And a complaint yeah, Bozo, being made Bozo. Bozo to the council, and they're gonna, they've sent him a letter. They're going to take it away and send the police around to, uh, to take it away. Tell us all your story, Albert. And they want to confiscate my, my Bozo, for God's sake. Bozo is a harmless creature, you know, we have to uh, adjust ourselves and live within the environment rather than us excluding the environment. This is an environmental life. We need it for our kids to know that chickens are made from this rooster who make love to the hen so that we can have more chickens and more eggs to eat. Tell us, Albert, how did you get it for, uh, how long you had the, the, uh, the rooster for? Six months and one day that I had and the poor rooster, they were to execute it one day. There enough. wouldn't even be a decent feed in it. It's only a baby Look, rooster. Poor Bozo. Look at it. It's a little bantam. Oh, Bozo. Does it, what happened? Does it cock-a-doodle-doo in the morning? Yes, it says cock-a-doodle-doo. Any, any, any hen will do. Yeah. Cock-a-doodle-doo and any hen will do. So what do you say to these people that want to take away your pet? Well, they want to be a little bit more environmental in their thoughts and try and come back and adjust themselves to reality that cock-a-doodle-doos are always around and so are the glass and the kuroosters and the cockatoos and plovers and you name it, all the swans and squawk, squawk, squawk and also, and also there's bloody bats those bats that go squawk, squawk, squawk Give it a kiss, mate mm, My poor bozo So what's your, yeah, thanks for that